Hi, this is Aisha. Welcome back to Nalagiri.com. So today I'm really excited. We're going to be doing my five favorite natural cleansers. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off with the ones that are kind of the everyday. Um, removes makeup, removes impurities, and um, from all the pollution and all that stuff. Because I live in New York, and as you know, like the the pollution really kind of gets into the pores. And so you really want a gentle cleanser, something that is chemical free but you also want something that's going to be able to really do a great job in cleansing and pulling out all that all, all that dirt and impurity uh, from your face so the first one that is a favorite of mine's is this this Pacifica cleanser it's fairly new on the market it's called a sea foam complete face wash and what I love about it is it has coconut oil um, and coconut water and that is really like <laughs> the selling point for me if it has coconut I'm going to get it so um, this is one of my favorites so it has coconut water and sea algae complex and it's supposed to be able to remove makeup cleanse and tone the skin um, I don't know about if it does all those steps but I definitely know that when I use this I really get a great cleanse and it really uh, does a great job so this is one of my great recommendations. Uh, the second one is the one that I kind of turn to every single day. I use this um, every morning and it's from Juice Beauty. So it is the Blemish Clearing Cleanser. Uh, like it says, it's for blemishes. I, I necessarily don't have a lot of breakouts, but I do have very sensitive skin and Juice Beauty is one of the best organic lines on the market. And I really, really enjoy this cleanser. It's the third or fourth time that I've bought this bottle from Whole Foods and it just does such a great job um, in cleansing the skin. And I've noticed that since I've used it, I've had a lot less breakouts. Um, yeah, so that's one of my favorites. And another one that I get at Whole Foods is from the Dr. Hauschka line. Uh, so there's the bottle right there. And Dr. Hauschka is one of my favorite all-time favorite organic natural lines. Um, the ingredients are incredibly rich and high quality. And so this one is the Soothing Cleansing Milk. And it's a milk cleanser like it says and it's very creamy. It doesn't lather but it's very gentle and I know that on days where I don't have that much makeup it's really fantastic to have this. Just two pumps and really kind of work it into my skin and, and give myself like more kind of like a facial massage. Um, and it does such a great job. I always, I love the smell. It's just a wonderful, wonderful cleanser. It's very light though, so if you have a lot of eye makeup or mascara, it's not gonna really uh, do a great job if you have heavy makeup. It's more for your lighter days. So that's one of the best out there. And one that I love by Lush, and I know a lot of people are huge fans of Lush. Um, I like a lot of products from them, but not I've not rebought a lot. You know, I've not um, I don't have staples from a lot of staples from the Lush line uh, because they have so many different ones that are limited edition, and and uh, I every time I go in there, I just want to try something new and different. But one that I do repurchase a lot is called Angels on Bare Skin. So let me show you the inside of it. It's this beautiful clay-like, um, it's like this clay-like texture. It literally feels like you're playing with Play-Doh for adults, but it's one of my favorites and it's it's not for everyone because of just the, the texture and the uniqueness of the, the product itself, but it says it's a face and body cleanser and it has uh, lavender in it and it has crushed up almonds so it really does a great job in a, a gentle exfoliation so I actually usually pop this in my shower and keep this on in the shower at all times and when I feel like in the summer when my skin's dried out and I have a little flakiness or just I need a little bit of rejuvenation in my skin I'll put take a little bit of the clay maybe like a dime size amount and put it onto my palms and massage it into my palms with some warm water and so once I have that warm water with the solution 
um, the cleanser into my hands I and it turns into kind of like a creamy milk and I'll start massaging it and the wonderful thing is the crushed almonds really do such a great job in, in slawing off all the dead skin um, again it's gentle but it's a wonderful product and it's also keep in mind these are fresh ingredients and they actually have um, a little sticker with the per the lush person who created uh, who produced the that particular batch and make sure that you you are aware of the deadline that it expires um, so mine's you know expires on August 21st so I want to make sure that I use up all of this um, because it has such active fresh ingredients and you want to use them up before um, the expiration date and that's wonderful so one of my favorite new products that I've purchased recently is known as the best cleanser in Japan. It's the number one selling cleanser in Japan and it's by Cure. So you can see it's right there, Cure. Uh, it comes in this pump bottle and it's kind of like this gel, jelly-like consistency and it, it says natural aqua gel. And everything on this packaging is in Japanese, so I can't tell you for the life of me what it says on the packaging. But I've done a lot of research on natural um, chemical peels. So chemical peels uh, sounds kind of scary, but the natural chemical peels, what it does is it, use, it uses fruit acids from like fruits like papaya and pineapple that are very high in um, citric acid and they they um, put these in these uh, natural cleansers and products and what it does is it's kind of amazing it's like well, the first time I used it I was incredibly shocked so um, I you take a couple pumps on your on dry hands and dry face you take a couple pumps and you start massaging it into your face while it's dry and it starts you literally can see the dead skin slawing off. Like you can see the physical um, little grains coming off your skin and it's kind of jarring at first because you're like, what is that? But you realize very quickly that it's just the dead skin and once, you, once you've you know, massaged it all in and got into all like the nooks of your face and wash it off, you, you're left with this really beautiful, clean, like palette of a face it's just incredible that it really does the job and it's doing it right in front of you and I know a lot of people you know we get products and we want instant satisfaction and this is one of those products where it's you know worth the hype uh, being the number one Japanese cleanser uh, you know I knew it was going to be a great great buy but I was really shocked in what it was capable of doing and how fast I got results and I actually got you know my boyfriend to use it and he was also like this is crazy <laughs> so I really recommend this I think it's also just fun to use even if you know it's not part of your weekly arsenal um, I think this is a great product and really really interesting and and does the job right in front of you right in front of your eyes it's absolutely amazing so one thing I wanted to mention before I wrap up is that with the cleansers, I, you know, always, again, coming from a, a, a big city like New York, there's just an excessive amount of, of pollution and skin damage that happens in a day, like from riding the trains, there's just so many things that we're exposed to, our skin is exposed to, and I've always struggled with having really, having a really nice clear complexion. But once I started taking care of my skin and, and having a good skincare routine and the cleanser is the base, the, the foundation of that. So I think it's really important to invest in a good cleanser and really take your time. Take two minutes to massage it into your face. Like turn it into kind of like a, a spa for yourself because, because I think a lot of people what they do is they'll just slather some cleanser on their face and wash it off in five seconds and go out the door and they don't really feel the full benefits of the products that they're getting. So I think that's really important. And one thing I wanted to mention is once I started wearing makeup um, and things like mascara and eyeliners that really kind of get into, you know, are hard to clean out and they're just always like somehow, you know, hours later after you've washed or your face or taken a shower, you still find those little bits 
um, in your eye, in your waterline and stuff like that. But what I started doing recently is I take coconut oil. So again, I'm a coconut junkie, but this is really like the, the star uh, product that, that I think enhances every single cleanser that I have. So I just take coconut oil. This is just in a jar. Uh, it says it's for the body. You could use it in a million ways. Um, I'll make sure I do a video on that. But so what I do is I take 100% cold pressed coconut oil and I'll take a teaspoon of coconut oil make sure that you know it's very it, it, it melts very easily but this one I keep out and because it's hot outside it's always ready to go and and melt it but I'll take a teaspoon of this coconut oil and I'll put it into my my hands and then I'll put I'll pump the cleanser into my hand and then massage it into my hands and heat it up and and make a kind of a, a little coconut oil cleanser concoction and then I'll massage it into my face. So I do that with every single product that I use except the Japanese Cure Cleanser because that one you have to work on dry skin. But every single other cleanser I use a little bit of coconut oil and I feel like it just gives me that extra moisture that I need because I've been having a little bit of dry skin lately so it's just been the extra kind of bump that has brought each of these products to another level for me. Um, so yeah, that's something that I think that you should try, like try a little coconut, like a little t a teaspoon of coconut oil in your cleanser and try washing your face that way. I promise once you rinse your face, you won't have oil residue on your face, but it's, it's something that I swear by now and it's something I look forward to because it leaves my skin feeling amazing and I, I usually never have to even use a moisturizer after, especially in the summer when it's hot out. But yeah, so those are my favorite natural cleansers. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts or answer any questions you may have about the products. I'll link all the products in the description box. And please subscribe to the channel and uh, show some love and support. I, you know, I'm starting off and I'm really finding this YouTube role really exciting and I can't wait to keep putting out videos and more content for you guys. Thank you so much and I'll, until the next video, bye!